you're gonna have to promise me something. This has to end. Oh, absolutely, it has to end. I cannot put up with this kind of weeks anymore. Yes, it's been an action-packed week. We have done so much from exhibitions to parties to to looking at houses and to cleaning up mom and dad's place. So <gasps> I forgot about looking at the houses. Yes. That's why. That's why I'm so exhausted. It has been a heck of a week. But you know what? Those make those make great weeks, right? When you survive them. So, Does it? Uh, let's yeah, we're gonna let's let's show you what we're talking about. Hi, I'm John. And this is Bogdan. Join us on our journey as we figure out how to earn a living as artists, introduce you to those we meet, and share what we learn along the way. Hey all, um, I just wanted to wrap up what whatever happened last night at the Tenants exhibition. I think it, it was a wonderful, wonderful exhibition. Uh, a great experience, friends, people from all over came. Um, I end up with a new uh, collector uh, that uh, bought a piece uh, of this uh, uh, sculpture of photography, the initiation, it's a new piece. Uh, just finish it, just hang it in there, and she she felt in love with it. It was a fabulous experience, fabulous evening. Um, I want to thank everybody that was there. I want to thank all my collectors that were there. Uh, all the supporters and uh, of course uh, to Valentina Atkinson that uh, uh, organized this event that was the director of this uh, exhibition and um, she made sure that this evening would be a success and it was. Thank you everybody. Okay, everybody, we are about to go off on our road trip doing some uh, viewings of properties around Houston and uh, trying to find a place to, to go once we make the move. Wish us luck. We're on our way.
You know, sometime last year I uh, started a, uh, a painting that uh, had to do with without limits theme, and that was a 36 by 24 painting. Um, at first I applied the texture, I texturized it very well, uh, looked like a crepuscular sort of uh, planet, um, very out of space. Uh, but then I, I wanted to create a, 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 a motion to it, a, um, a Milky Way, a, 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 a tail of a star. So I, I, I wanted to do the tail of a star, but it ended up with too much white, as you probably remember. And um, it looked good, however, it did not speak to me that much. So I left it in the studio for a while, for about, you know, maybe more than four weeks because I, 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 I just had to move uh, to other projects. And then I had it on my eyes every day. And then um, the other day I said, you know what, it's time to, to finish, to sort out this piece, uh, because I can't just leave it around like this. And uh, yesterday I uh, put myself together and I concentrated on the piece, of the piece and it really speak to me. Um, so, Instead of a tail of, a, uh, of the star that I wanted to create, I actually create a ring, a motion, like it's everything, it's, it's moving out of space. I think the result is phenomenal. I love the piece. It, it, it has all the elements, it has the motion, it has the symmetry. You can focus on something now. There is an element that your eye recognizes, and that is the circle, and uh, the rest is your story. You, when you look at that, it's a ring, it's a motion going on, but it's an abstract painting at the end of the day, so it can be any story you want. Hey guys, probably look a complete fright right now, I apologize. We have been working all day uh, cleaning out the last of mom's house. So we, we actually had to hire somebody to help us move some of the bigger pieces and just kind of give away, you know, furniture and, and, and things that, that were part of this house. And it, it just reminds me how long it takes for the grieving process. Because I mean, this is really fairly emotional. 
Uh, poor Bogdan is, is on pins and needles because, uh, you know, it's, it's tough for me. It's tough for me just to hand things away and, uh, and to see this house. We're about to uh, get it cleaned up. Uh, gonna pay somebody to come in and do some heavy duty cleaning just so that it's nice for the, for the next owner, who's a really nice fellow, we've met him. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's not the house I grew up in. It's not, it's not a house that uh, has great memories of Thanksgivings and Christmases, but it was mom and dad's house. It's, it's where dad died and it's uh, where mom you know, spent the, the, almost the last of her life. And it is a bit emotional as I clean it out. It's been a lovely space. We've used it for last year, I guess, as, a, as a, uh, an art studio. It's been lovely for that. But now, you know, we're looking at properties in Houston. We need to sell this. It looks like everything's going through. Um, and then we, we need to vacate. And, you know, we're, we're thinking of the, all the plants. That's where mom has her amaryllis planted. And that's, that's, uh, those are the, that's the bird bath that we bought uh, with mom and dad because she wanted to watch the birds up close. So yeah, it's, it's been not terrible. I mean, the thing about the grief is it's been, you know what, almost two years since dad died, a year and a half since dad died, a little less for mom. And, uh, you know, it doesn't go away. Uh, I don't want it to go away. I, I don't want to suffer, but you know, it, it's going to take as long as it takes. And uh, there's a line in Torch Song Trilogy with, you know, it's like, it's like putting on a new ring. It, it bugs you for a while, you're very conscious of it. And after a while, you just don't notice it anymore. And it's always there, but it, it just becomes part of you. And that's where I guess I'm, I'm headed. Anyway, way too depressing. Just wanted to keep, let you guys know we're finishing up with the house and uh, that's taken us the better part of two days. You think you're almost done, but you're not. <laughs> so uh, anyway, back to work. See you guys in a bit. Hi friends, I'm uh, running to uh, downtown Houston. I need to pick up two artworks that I submitted um, for the 
uh, Houston Forever exhibition. I actually uh, submitted four and they called me and said that we only curated two of them. So uh, I'm going to pick the other two up and bring them back to the studio. So I'm very curious and very um, uh, excited to, to see what's going on there and uh, how they arrange the whole exhibition. So follow me. Um, to downtown Houston and take a, a preview of the Houston Forever exhibition. just got uh, the destination the town is beautiful I never get uh, tired about this uh, view but uh, let's see what's going on uh, over here at Houston forever exhibition Hello. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> the camera is attached to me <laughs> at all times. <laughs> I'm good. That looks good. I really like how everything looks. My pieces are on the second level on a mezzanine and um, I, st I got only one back which is the Atlantis. Uh, no, actually Sparta behind me. They said that they're gonna keep one more uh, for the downstairs um, display. We're ready. So tell me, what's going on? We're about to have our um, monthly uh, event for collectors and friends, and uh, this one is the month of love for February, so it's called That's Amore. And so we're all set up. We've got uh, our studio and uh, four other studios open tonight. So it, uh, fingers crossed, it'll be a lovely event. I have just finished doing the dishes, cleaning up the, the studio. We just finished the uh, That's Amore event. Uh, not a single sale. Really, really, uh, very few people showed up. However, uh, and our, for our, our folks did show up. We had uh, several of our friends and collectors show up and a couple of other people who wandered through. But uh, I don't think anybody uh, had a very good evening. But that's the way it goes. I mean, we're artists, we have to understand that uh, we have these things and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it's discouraging, but more importantly, I'm going off now to the big party downtown with Bodan. Everybody is already there. 
and I just finished closing up the studio. So I'm on my way. Uh, should be a fun evening. Talk to you soon. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating. I'm feeding this demon. Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face. Work a job every day till your dreams fade away. Like a card, never change. Play the game that we say. I need a break. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on. And time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on. Chase on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap, I'm a fly real high, you ain't see me slack, I'm a snide, how you fall, it's how you get right back up, that's how you get tough, calluses on my hands so rough, yeah, I call your bluff, I'm not the one, mess with me, come out with none, cause I'm so done, you had your fun, and now you're gonna face down the barrel of the gun, cause I got a full clip, put your name on it, but I'ma let you slide, cause you ain't worth it. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on. So now you understand very well uh, why we're <laughs> feeling what you're feeling. Um, hopefully these coming weeks are going to be a recovery sort of weeks. Yes, I, I, I don't want to be bored, but this was a little too much. And today is St. Valentine's Day, so we're going to have some, some downtime, fi downtime finally. So uh, we'll, have, we'll have some time this evening to recuperate a bit. Listen, if you liked what you saw today, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so we can let you know when we have new content. It really does help our channel if you do. So with that, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's. And we'll see you again soon. Bye, guys. Bye.